This is a quick tutorial of the equipment and wiring diagram sections of the safety controller software from Banner Engineering. The equipment section provides an overview of the controller's physical configuration, including all input and output devices. To add a device, start by clicking the plus icon below the controller image. The window that pops up gives you a variety of safety and non-safety input options, as well as many types of status outputs. After you select the type of input device, you will be provided with numerous input configurations to match the product that you plan to attach to the controller. To select an input configuration, use the scroll bar to the right of the window. You can also modify the terminals assigned to the device based on the input configuration selected and the available terminals on the controller. Click OK to finalize the input selection. You may continue to add more input devices until there are no more terminals available. Status outputs can also be utilized to track a variety of conditions for the purpose of communication, including to a PLC, an illumination product, or any other device that can accept a 24 volt discrete signal. If you have an XS26 selected, you can also add expansion modules from this section by clicking the larger plus icon to the right of the controller image. When an input module is selected, you can then add equipment to it using the same process as the base controller. To save your current configuration to your PC, click the Save icon and click Save As. Choose a file location and a file name and click Save. The wiring diagram section will continually update as you add or remove input and output devices, showing to which physical terminals on the controller each device is assigned. This section can also give you real-time I.O. status information, allowing you to troubleshoot connection issues. In order to access this function, you must connect your controller and initiate Live Mode from the toolbar at the top of the software. Live Mode reads the current status of the controller and provides color-coded information about all of the terminals, including the safety outputs. That covers the basics of the equipment and wiring diagram sections for the Banner Safety Controller software. For more information, visit BannerEngineering.com.